Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show, and this time I want to review Test Drive Off-Road, which was developed by Motive Time and published by Accolade. It was originally released for the PC, but was later ported to the PlayStation. Test Drive Off-Road was released in 1997. Now, I own the PC version of the game, and I was originally going to review it, but I ran into some issues with it being an MS-DOS game. I couldn't get it to run on my PC, or any newer PCs, and even my Windows XP computer had issues with it. It run, but the graphics were all messed up. So I decided to review the PlayStation port. Now the Test Drive series has been around for a long time. In 1997 they decided to take a stab at the off-road racing genre. In Test Drive Off-Road you can choose between four off-road vehicles. A Hummer, Jeep, Land Rover, and a Chevy Z71 pickup. My personal favorite is the Chevy Z71 pickup. But I got a complaint. No Fords? Really? I know a Ford that can whoop the hell out of all these trucks in this game. There are also a few unlockable vehicles as well. A monster truck, a stock car, and a dune buggy. There are two modes you can choose from. They are Mixed League and Class League. Also, there is a practice mode as well. Mixed League consists of six cup tournaments which you will choose any vehicle to race with. You will also see a mix of vehicles in these races. In Class League, every player has the same vehicle and you will race on 11 different tracks that are set in different environments ranging from dirt, snow, and even deserts. Throughout each race, you will hit checkpoints and you will do up to three to four laps, which is cool. Awesome! The graphics for Test Drive Off-Road are very outdated, but for what it is, I can't complain too much. The track layouts are great, the vehicles look how they should, the game is colorful, not off the wall colors or anything like that, but each track looks great. The gameplay has terrible draw distance. You can only see a certain amount in front of you, but the PC version was the same way sometimes worse. This is what they had to work with in the late 90s, so I can't complain too much. Overall, it could be worse. I have seen some later games that have awful looking graphics. Yeah, remember 4x4 Dream Race? Although, like I said in that review, I'm not going to say a game is complete garbage because of its graphics. You can play multiplayer in Test Drive Off-Road, so if you have a friend, hook up a second controller to your PS1 and start playing. Not only that, in the regular single player mode, you will race against four trucks. I kind of wish there was more, but once again, that could be because of limitations. Although racing games around the time had you racing against six to eight opponents. So I think six to eight would have been nice in this game. The music and sound effects, well, to be honest, I don't really like the music in this game. It's very generic and bland sounding to me. Some of it is straight hard rock, some rap type music. Then there's a variety of industrial rock from a band known as Gravity Kills. They are most known for Hold on, let me look for a moment. Oh, they did movie soundtrack music for Spawn, Mortal Kombat, Seven, Escape from LA, and Kissing a Fool. I'm personally not a fan. Then again, I don't care for industrial rock, and I really don't care much for industrial metal, except for maybe Fear Factory and a few other bands. The sound effects are nothing special either. One thing I can't stand is the announcer in this game. He's just annoying as hell. If you remember my 3D baseball review, I talked about how annoying that announcer was. Well, this game has Bob Fitzgerald, another sports commentator, on here doing voiceover work as an announcer. I guess around this time it was a common theme to throw sports commentators into your video games. The controls could be better than what they are. Accelerating and brake are very easy, but the steering is not very good. I guess you could say it's tolerable, and I have played worse games out there, but it just seems at times steering the truck can be a bit of a chore. Some trucks do steer better than the others, which is kind of nice, but other than that, they can be a lot better than this. Overall, Test Drive Off-Road is a decent off-road racing game. It could be better, but then again, this is 1997, and there is limitations in this game, so I can't say that the game is completely awful, but I can't say it's amazing or better than other off-road racing games around the time. Yes, it's an arcade-style racing game, and yes, there was racing simulators around this time that were better. For instance, there is a game called SODA Off-Road Racing, which I will review at a later time. It's a PC game that will blow the doors off this game. But for what Test Drive Off-Road is, it's not bad. It's something you can play for a cheap thrill. Watch out! 
If you want to check out Test Drive Off-Road for yourself, well, the PlayStation version is 55% rare. The Greatest Hits version on PlayStation is 43% rare. Looking at the prices on eBay, I see it as low as $1.85 to nine, maybe 10 bucks, which isn't too bad. The PC version is going as low as $1.50 to as high as eight bucks. I think the prices are very acceptable and great. And if you can find the PlayStation version at a local game store, Pick it up, it's something if you want for a cheap thrill, and if you enjoy arcade racing games or the racing game genre in general. There are many games in the Test Drive series, ranging back to the late 80s to as high as 2012. As far as the Test Drive Off-Road series, there are three sequels. Test Drive Off-Road 2, which was released on the PlayStation and PC. Test Drive Off-Road 3, which was also on the PlayStation and PC. Then there was Test Drive Off-Road Wide Open on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. At a later time, I will more than likely review these games and other games in the Test Drive series. There hasn't been a new Test Drive Off-Road game since Wide Open. I would love to see see a new test drive off-road game. Maybe do it a little bit more realistic than the past games. I think it could be a lot of fun, but I don't think we'll see that anytime soon. Well, that's it for this review of Test Drive Off-Road. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Watch out!